tomorrow I want to go to Selfridges. We have not been to Selfridges. I definitely want to go to Selfridges to check out Gentle Monster, which is the brand where I have these sunglasses from. I have these in pretty much all the colors that they came out with. I love the shape and I know that they don't make these anymore because so many of you asked that I tried to find it for you and I know for a fact that they no longer make these, but I'm hoping that they have something comparable. So I have to go to Gentle Monster and I want to check out Chrome hearts tomorrow so that's the plan good morning, good morning. Thank, you so thank you so much So obviously they no longer make the exact same ones that I have, but these are kind of similar. They're not the same. To be honest, I still prefer the ones that I already own, but they are not bad. Not the best, but they're kind of okay. What do we think? You guys probably know by now that I'm not the biggest fan of Chanel Classic Flaps at this point, at least not for the price. I just think that they have lost their magic, but I still have a soft spot for any Chanel Classic Flaps made of either tweed or some sort of a fabric and this denim one I loved, which I think might be even better than buying a Classic Flap in tweed because I assume that denim would be more hard wearing and then one thing that i didn't articulate here while we were at chanel is that the reason you saw me going to chanel and the reason why you'll keep seeing me going to different chanel boutiques is because i was looking for a pair of sneakers and a chanel jacket a tweed jacket was the one official piece on my london wish list so every time i went into a chanel i asked about tweed jackets in my size which they didn't have many of at Selfridges. This is the only one that they had that fit me. It didn't fit me well, but I could put it on. But unfortunately, let's be honest, it's one of the most unflattering things I have ever tried on. Since I'm already in front of the mirror at Chanel, I thought I would show you what I wore today. So today I put on my most favorite silk shirt from Lily Silk, the Dior Oblique t-shirt from a couple of years ago with these Dior pants, the exact same ones that I had on last night, which I absolutely adore. These just make an outfit on their own. You can put these on with whatever you want because they'll make anything look so elevated. But this silk shirt is the most comfortable thing that I own. So yeah, 
this is today's outfit and let's get back to shopping or actually more like browsing so i didn't realize how much footage i actually took at chanel i probably have about 15 more minutes worth of footage if not more than that so if you're not tired of vlogs and you'd like to see a dedicated chanel shopping vlog do let me know comment down below if that's something you'd be interested in or just give this video a thumbs up so i know that that's something that i should put together for you but i went over to harrods where they have a dedicated chanel shoe department which they didn't have anything in my size unfortunately but this particular design I loved, I had never seen it before and that's because it's exclusive to Harrods but unfortunately it was completely sold out in my size and then afterwards I went over to their ready to wear section where they had a few bags on display and they had a ton of these different bags in this metallic leather which was kind of strange but this bag was the one that stood out to me because it is probably one of the most impractical shapes for a bag that you can find out there because what are you going to put in a bag that's a perfect square? Well, not much other than maybe a couple of dice. it's our last full day here in london so things are a little bit more hectic than i would have wanted them to be but i wanted to come on here and check in with you really quick and let you know what's going on because i will always take you along but first and foremost we have to go and hopefully exchange something that i purchased on our first day which is right here, here behind me thankfully they have a store really close to us just off of sloan street so i think we're gonna go there first try on a different size in the cashmere piece that i bought and i'll decide if i'm keeping it exchanging it or returning it so that is the first thing that we have to do the medium might be even worse than the small ones so i'm going to try something else which this brand is collaborating with different James Bond movies. This is from the most recent one. So I'm going to try one from a previous movie to see if that's a better fit because the medium is even worse than the small was. The small one was too big, but this is small in other, some places and then big in others is bulging in all the wrong places. It's just not a great fit for me. Then afterwards, I think we're going to go to Harrods just for another look because I haven't found anything amazing here in london yet so i'm going to go and see if there's anything that i missed if not i'll definitely want to buy a fragrance because that's just something nice to take home so i'm thinking to pick up something from la labo and then i'm trying to think what else we have so much going on that i can't even remember what's coming after what but i think we're going to do a little bit more sightseeing and then in the afternoon we have afternoon tea at sketch which i will have to show you then we have dinner afterwards and i tried to squeeze in a little bit more shopping in between we definitely have to go to buy some tea because while you're in london that's a must and we're right back to harrods starting the day at one cleave where i came in to look at the all umbra line which they didn't have too much of in stock probably because it was the week before Christmas but at Dior we had a little bit more luck because we ended up coming across a sale rack where they had quite a few different full winter pieces on sale one of which was this coat from the runway which I remember seeing and loving and I would have definitely bought it especially with 40% off but unfortunately they only had one size left of most pieces including this one and the size that they had was way too oversized so this was a no-go 
but they actually had my most favorite pants in my size available in the sale the one that i have been wearing in this vlog for the past few days but in the maroon color which i actually have the jacket in this exact same color and i was so ready to get this it was the perfect size the perfect fit and before i pulled the trigger i had a closer look at them and realized that there was a hole on one of the legs so my heart nearly broke but they had to stay and then they showed me this coat which was also from the runway i personally would never buy this to me it looks more like a broadway costume than something that you bought from dior but you know it was fun to try it definitely gave me some inspiration for next year's halloween but i did end up finding something which of course i'll show you in an upcoming unboxing by Celine because they're bringing back my most favorite sneakers of all time after taking a break from them for a few seasons and while they are not in stock yet I had a chance to look at their latest men's collection which is actually adorned by this print inspired by the 101 Dalmatian movie which I'm not sure how to feel about how do you feel about it I still don't know if I would pay Celine prices for these pieces because you could probably buy something similar from Disneyland but they're a lot cuter than I thought they would have been it's our last half a day in london we are heading home tonight so we had to get up super early so we can pack get everything done that needs to get done before we leave so we're gonna go head down have breakfast we have an appointment afterwards that we need to go to and then i think we're gonna go on a little walk to chelsea because we have not been to chelsea since we have arrived so i think that's the plan for today a little walk and browse around chelsea maybe a quick lunch then we have to get back get a car and get to the airport as soon as we can because i assume the crowd is not going to be the easiest to get through so i'll keep you posted on how today goes i really hope there isn't a limit on how much day you can travel with because i'm definitely exceeding it with all this stuff i have some more tea in there and then even more tea in my actual suitcase <laughs> but anyway let me show you the last outfit of our last day here in london well actually technically only a half day because we're flying back tonight but this is what i'm wearing today for our browse around chelsea so i have my most favorite jeans on from nudie jeans these are by far the best more affordable jeans i mean they're still not cheap but they are a lot more reasonably priced compared to amiri and celine whose jeans i also love i am wearing my new Saint Laurent ripped cashmere sweater which i showed i think i think it might have been in my black friday unboxing and then an old air mesh shirt that has no color this is something that they do almost every single spring summer so even though mine is not from the latest collection this is something that you can buy pretty much every single season so this is what i'm doing today if i can i'll definitely check in with you probably at the airport which by that point i will have already changed but thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey i've had so much fun and i hope you have too now i just have to figure out how i'm going to put this whole video together because I have absolutely no idea. I think I have over 200, maybe even 300 clips by this point that I took 
over the past five days so i'm not sure if i'm going to split it into two parts if i'm going to do one travel vlog and one dedicated shopping vlog we'll figure it out i don't want to say let me know what you'd like to see because i think by the time you're seeing this i would have already finished editing everything and uploading it but please keep your fingers crossed for me that everything went well and the editing wasn't too insane and it ended up being a cohesive enjoyable video for you to watch but uh, i really hope you enjoyed it and let's go on a walk around chelsea together and just a touch of fragrance before we leave this is the fragrance from the labo that i brought with me i wasn't able to pick up the other scent that i was going to but it's okay i'll buy it when we get home and then just a quick outfit update i ended up tucking the shirt all the way in because i felt that this particular shirt was just a little bit too long for a half tuck it kind of looked like i had some sort of a napkin stuck to my pants so i ended up tucking it in all the way and i do think it looks a lot more streamlined this way but i kept the same Saint Laurent cashmere sweater same hermes shirt and then my nudie jeans jeans i'm about to go put on my coat grab my bag and i have to be out the door otherwise I'm going to be extremely late, so probably see you in Chelsea. Here we go, all packed and ready to head to the airport.